Covishield vaccine is the product of University of Oxford and company AstraZeneca. For understanding how Covishield acts, we need to be little bit aware about the structure of uh, coronavirus. So this is the structure of coronavirus. This virus on its coat expresses proteins known as the spike proteins and it is via these spike proteins that this coronavirus attaches to cells and enter into the cells. So basically the mechanism of action of all the vaccines which are being developed is basically to prevent the attachment of the coronavirus to the cells so that at uh, beginning only the attack of the virus can be prevented. But what is the mechanism by which uh, Covishield prevents this? Basically Covishield uses another virus that is adenovirus. This is a harmless virus and uh, mostly causes a common flu. Uh, the common cold which we routinely experience. So it is a modified uh, adenovirus which has lost its ability to multiply in the body. So it is derived uh, from chimpanzees and uh, even though it can enter cells, it cannot multiply in the cells. Now what AstraZeneca did is that uh, this uh, genome of the coronavirus has a part which produces this spike proteins. So this part of the genome of uh, coronavirus is integrated with the genome of the adenovirus. So if this adenovirus goes into the cells of our body, then these spike proteins can be produced in the body itself. So once this adenovirus is inserted in the form of the vaccine into the body, this adenovirus goes and attaches to the cells and the cells actually take up this virus inside. So this goes inside into the cell. It moves out from there and inserts its genome into the nucleus of our cells. So as you might be aware that basically all the virus use our body's uh, cell machinery that is the nuclear machinery to produce the proteins. So once this DNA is inserted uh, into the nucleus, this DNA is transcribed into messenger RNA and from these messenger RNA ribosomes produce proteins. So the spike proteins are produced by these cells. Now once these spike proteins are produced some of these start appearing on the surface of the cell. So cell expresses them on their surface. It's like telling others that there is uh, this foreign attack on uh, me. So the foreign antigen starts appearing on the surface of the cell. But remember that uh, this adenovirus is not doing anything. It is not even replicating. It is not dividing in the cell. It is only the protein, the coronavirus protein. Now it is being expressed. So this adenovirus is acting as a vehicle which is taking this uh, coronavirus genome and the cell is able to produce these spike proteins. So once these spike proteins are expressed on the surface of the cell, now two things happen. One, the cells express the protein on the surface and secondly, once these cells die, once these cells die, they release these proteins into the environment. So these released proteins are then recognized by other cells of our body which are uh, macrophages and these macrophages basically engulf the fragments of these antigens that is the spike protein. So then what these macrophages do that they present these small fragments to other cells. So that is why they are also known as antigen presenting cell. They are presenting the antigen to other cells. So what are these cells? Basically it is helper T cell. So basically it's a signal to the helper T cells that uh, this kind of foreign antigen has uh, come. So you have to be active against it. So one is helper T cell is uh, getting signal from antigen presenting cell. Then there are other cells also that is B cell. So B cells what uh, they do is they get signal not only from the antigen presenting cells but as I told you that the cells which were expressing the spike proteins on their surface because of the adenovirus they also send the signals to the B cells. Now these helper T cells as the name suggests that it is helper T cell, they help the B cell. So one they are getting the signal of the antigen plus the helper T cell which is also recognizing the same antigen. It sends the signals to the B cells 
and activates them further. So these B cells now start maturing and proliferating causing the formation of the plasma cells which ultimately secrete antibodies against these spike proteins. So this is one mechanism that vaccine by delivering the spike protein through adenovirus is causing the activation of the B cells and the release of the antibodies from the B cells. Now this antigen presenting cell also presents this antigen to killer T cells. So presentation of antigen to helper T cells, B cells and also to killer T cells. So as the name suggests killer T cells they can actually kill the infected cells. So they also get a signal and these helper T cells which have activated the B cells they also activate the killer T cells. Basically they release certain chemicals known as cytokines which activate these B cells and killer T cells. Now body has a mechanism that once these uh, B cells and T cells identify a particular antigen they create a memory of it. So there are memory B cells and memory T cells such that if there is a exposure to the antigen next time another time so these memory uh, cells can respond faster so what happens as you might be aware that there are uh, generally multiple doses of vaccines uh, required in case of covid shield uh, second dose is required around uh, 8 to 12 weeks after the first dose so with the first dose what happens if you see this graph where x-axis is showing the time in weeks and y-axis is showing concentration of antibodies with the first dose the response starts after almost one week and then it increases uh, see the concentration of antibodies which are being released by b cells increase and then it starts coming down so around four to six weeks you see it has started coming down and that is the time actually when the second dose of the vaccine is given now because as already told that the cells have generated memory cells with the second dose there is an immediate response so concentration of antibody rises very fast if you see the first response took one week but the second response has taken very less time and the concentration of uh, antibodies has risen very fast and that too the response is much higher the concentration of antibodies has increased uh, too much plus the antibodies remain in body for a long duration maybe up to the months so we are saying uh, that we are not very sure that uh, how long uh, this uh, covid shield effect will last so people are still gathering data about uh, that and uh, maybe after uh, some months another dose of uh, covid shield may be required to keep this uh, concentration of antibodies higher so this is known as a secondary response which is occurring to the second dose of the vaccine with the one which has occurred due to the first dose is the primary response. Okay, so now if coronavirus enters into the body then what will be the response of the body? So once the coronavirus enters actually the antibodies if they are already present in the body because of the secondary response then these antibodies at the first site of the virus will actually go and attach to the spike proteins which they had already recognized before. So they will go and attach to the spike proteins and prevent the virus from attaching to the cell. So this is known as neutralization. This uh, method of acting of the antibodies is known as neutralization where they go and bind with the active uh, component of the pathogen and prevent it from entering into the cell. So already circulating antibodies neutralize the spike proteins. Apart from this, whenever a pathogen enters, it is taken up by our uh, macrophages which are the antigen presenting cells and they again present this antigen to B cells, uh, killer T cells and helper T cells and because of the vaccine since these cells have a memory so obviously the response to the pathogen this time is much higher and the activation by T helper cells is also much more for the B cells and killer T cells. So obviously more antibodies will be produced, the response of the body will be more Plus, if the virus manages to enter into the cells, what happens that these cells start expressing certain proteins and trying to signal to cells that, okay, I am infected. 
so these infected cells are then killed by our t cells so our b cells are preventing the attachment of the virus to the cells but if it does manage then the infected cell is killed by the killer t cell so friends that's the mechanism of action of the vaccine covid shield hope you have understood the background immune mechanisms of our body which are activated due to the vaccine and how it helps us to effectively attack the virus which may enter in our body in some future time well thanks for watching the video if you liked it do press the like button share the video with others and don't forget to subscribe to the channel physiology open thank you